Thank you for purchasing the stable wall system. Stable wall consists of carbon fiber polymer sheets. They've been used for many years in the aerospace and heavy construction industry for stabilizing a variety of concrete structures, including buildings and bridges. Now they're available to reinforce residential concrete walls. The stable wall system is considerably stronger than steel. Carbon fiber will not stretch. Once they are applied to a wall perpendicular to a crack, the crack won't open wider. This video will help you install the stable wall system. In addition to watching this video, make sure you read the manual before you begin installing. Your installation should go smoothly and you should be able to finish the project in an afternoon or less. These are the components of the stable wall reinforcement system. The kit includes nearly everything you'll need to install it. You'll need a few items you may have around the house, such as a drop cloth, a pair of rubber gloves, some stirring sticks, and a drill with a wire wheel if you have to remove paint. You'll also need a paint roller pan and a standard 9-inch roller frame. Divide the materials into three groups. Your first group consists of your paste filler. Set the paste filler parts A and B in the first group along with a putty knife. Your second group consists of your surface primer parts A and B. You'll be applying them with one of your quarter inch nap roller covers. Place these together with one of the included disposable roller pan inserts. The last group consists of your bonding adhesive. Place the bonding adhesive parts A and B together with the other quarter inch nap roller cover and disposable roller pan insert, the carbon fiber, and the ribbed roller. There will be four steps. First is to prepare the area. You may have to grind paint off the wall. Second is to apply the paste filler if you have any irregularities or indentations in the wall. Third is to apply the primer. Fourth is to apply the bonding adhesive, lay the fiber over it, and then lay a second layer of bonding adhesive over the fiber. That's all there is to it. It's important to install stable wall at a temperature above 60 degrees and that the temperature remains above 60 degrees for one to two days until it has cured. Each kit comes with enough materials to install two strips, but for this demonstration, we're only installing one. If you install them both, make sure you follow each step for both surfaces at the same time so that your mixed materials don't dry prematurely. Let's take each step one at a time so you can see it in action. Step one is to prepare the surface properly. Mark the area where the sheets will go. Make the marked area one to two inches larger than the sheets and remember that the sheets go perpendicular to the cracks. For any type of wall, it's important to remove all the loose material, such as dirt, that might interfere with bonding the material to the wall. If there's paint on the surface, remove it. Otherwise, you won't get a good bond. If you need to remove paint, you can rent a grinder from a local rental store. Some grinders have an attachment for a wet dry vac. That will make the job go faster and easier and help minimize the dust you get from grinding the paint off the wall. Or you may use a wire brush attached to a regular drill. Make sure you ventilate the area properly and take precaution to protect yourself from breathing in any dust. Step two is to mix and apply the paste filler. It is used to fill cracks or any other irregularities in the wall surface. If reinforcement fiber lies in a smooth plane, it will be structurally strongest. The paste filler is an epoxy and will feel about as thick as spackle. Because it takes a little longer to mix, its components are pigmented black and white. That way, when it's fully mixed, the mixture will turn gray. Fully empty the contents of container B into container A. Mix until there's no streaking of the components. Remember, all stable wall ingredients are time-sensitive materials. All mixtures used in this video should be applied immediately after they're mixed, so don't take a restroom break between mixing and applying a material. The paste filler works best on deeper joints in the wall surface. This is how the wall should look after the filler is applied. Wait about 10 minutes before applying the primer. Step 3 is to mix and apply the primer. All the stable wall adhesives are mixed in a 3 to 1 resin ratio and are supplied in that ratio. The buckets are big enough to mix right in them. Always mix all of B into all of bucket A. Mix the materials for about 5 minutes with a stirrer until thoroughly mixed. The stable wall primer is applied like any typical commercial paint with a quarter inch nap roller. Make sure you cover the area completely all the way to the edge of where you marked it. Wait about 15 minutes before applying the bonding adhesive. Step 4 is to mix and apply the bonding adhesive. Roll it on with the remaining paint roller cover. It goes on just like paint. Use about one quarter of the supplied bonding adhesive if you're installing one sheet of carbon fiber and one half of the bonding adhesive if you're installing both sheets. 
Once it's applied, place the reinforcement fiber into the first coat. It goes up like wallpaper. Once the material is tacked in place by hand, use the ribbed roller to push the adhesive between the fibers and press out any pockets of air from underneath it. Roll the ribbed roller in the same direction as the fiber. It works best when you roll up from the center to the top and down from the center to the bottom. Once you've got the air bubbles out from behind the fabric, apply a second coat of bonding adhesive. Use the same amount of bonding adhesive for this coat that you used for the first coat. If you're installing both carbon fiber sheets, you'll use up all of the remaining bonding adhesive on this coat. Finally, use the ribbed roller again to make sure no air bubbles are trapped. And that's it! You're done! All that's left is to clean up. Wait about 48 hours before you paint over it. Again, don't forget to read the installation manual completely before installing. We'd like to thank you for choosing Stable Wall, the leader in concrete reinforcement. 